Hey there with AgriSpray Drones. I'm going to show you guys how to do your first flight on the Agris T40. Now, many of you guys may be pretty nervous about doing this because this is likely the biggest drone that you've ever operated. And it may be a little bit intimidating, but I can promise you it is not. As long as you just follow a few simple rules, you can have a safe flight, you can learn, you can practice, and you can master it in no time at all. So first off, location selection is very important. As you notice right here, we have a large open field. We don't have any power lines other than behind us, so everything in front of us that way, there are no obstacles, there are no trees. If the drone lands at any point in time, anywhere out in this field for any reason, it'll be okay. We won't break a blade, um, we won't hurt anything on the drone, or we won't hurt anybody else either. We're not next to a highly traveled road, so we are good uh, to practice safely here. All right, so next thing you want to do is uh, get a full battery um, and for the drone. Make sure you have a few of them probably because, again, you want to do a lot of practicing. You want to make sure you have battery for, for your remote. And we're going to go ahead and fold the drone out. So half of it's already folded out on that side, but, uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to unfold this side here. So the side with the nozzle gets folded out first. Fold your blades back a little bit and then we want to clamp in our cam lock. Hear that snap. If you don't hear that snap, it doesn't, if it doesn't pop in, there you go, that's a, good, that's a nice snap. If it doesn't pop in, then that's going to mean that it needs tightened. If you do need to tighten it, then it is that turnbuckle right there. Just spin that turnbuckle and then try it again until you hear that pop and it's nice and tight. And we're going to fold our props out. Props don't have to be exactly 180 degrees away from each other. If it starts like this, that's fine. It does go through a spin-up process called arming, and it will actually throw the props out to 180 degrees uh, during that, that process. But if you can get them out there to start with, that's not a bad idea. You also want to check your props. Make sure that your props don't have any cracks. Flex them up and down. If you see any cracks along the leading edge especially, uh, then contact us and we can get you a replacement set of props sent your way. Okay, no cracks um, and nothing wrong with our props. Everything seemed good there. Uh, Want to check our arms. Make sure your arms don't have any cracks either. And again, if it's a new drone, you should be just fine in this department right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a battery in the drone. and make sure it clicks. So push down right here, there, right there, that's what you're looking for. Pull up on the battery, and if you can't get it out, then it's locked in there nice and tight. Now before you boot the drone up, we're gonna go ahead and boot up our remote. So press once on the power button, that will show you your power indicator right there. Press and hold after that, and it'll boot up. Every DJI product is just like this. When you press once on the power button, it shows you the charge level. Whenever the lights are still on and you hold down on the power button after that, then it will boot up. Same thing with the drone. Okay, so now our remote is booted up, so it's safe to go ahead and turn the drone on. Press once, and there you can see our power indicator, full bars. The lights go off. Now when the lights go off and you press and hold, it's not gonna boot up. It's just gonna again show you the power indicator. So what we're going to do is we're going to press once while those are on, press down and hold, and there you see it begins the startup sequence. And the drone's going to power up. The props and all the motors are going to turn once, um, just uh, real quick, just to test everything. And then it's going to go through its startup sequence. It's going to find, it's going to find satellites. Um, it's going to connect to the remote. Um, it's going to get its compass orientation, uh, which is a pretty important concept to understand. Right here, these two things, these are your RTK uh, compasses um, and your RTK antennas. So if you're standing really, really close to these right here, it might not be able to pick up um, a compass reading because you have a dense object too close to your antenna. Uh, this could be you or this could be something over the drone or next to the drone. So when you boot it up, just go ahead and back away and it'll go ahead and find satellites and it will uh, find its compass reading. Okay, so next, we're going to go into begin. Now, the first thing you want to do is fly manually. 
So uh, you should probably go through all of our training videos. You should probably go through um, all of our uh, videos on how to look at your settings, um, how to do mapping, all that kind of stuff first. But before you actually do any of that, before you actually go to the field and do mapping uh, and fly it uh, autonomously, you should fly manually. You should get very, very good at flying manually. So I'm going to show you right now how to practice flying manually and what things you should practice flying manually on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and back away from the drone. We've already checked our settings on this drone. We know what all those mean. I'm not going to show you all that process. But make sure you do that. Check your settings. What I mean by settings, I mean the gear icon on the top right of that screen. So now, to take off with a DJI drone, we're going to move both sticks down, all the way down, and all the way in. That's going to arm the drone. Now, if you get this message here, this says make sure surrounding is clear of obstacles and push control sticks to take off. We're just going to press OK. This tells us essentially it sees an obstacle that is within 20 feet of it. So if you get this, get this message and you're practicing, back away further uh, or make sure nothing is around it. If that's true, press OK and now you can take off. That's both sticks down and all the way in and it will begin an arming process. The drone will not actually take off, it will just arm. So the blades will spin up, it will save a home point, and it's ready for you to take off. So all I have to do is push the left stick up, and the drone lifts off. The drone only allows you to take off if it has orientation um, and GPS, meaning that it can do uh, location hold, or, or hover hold. So right now, the drone's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't matter if you have a 15 mile an hour wind, the drone's going to hover right where it's at. It's going to compensate and hold its height, um, and it's going to hold its position. So this, is, this takes some of the intimidation away. It's not going to fly away from you. Okay, so now some of the controls. The left stick moves the drone left, uh, spins the drone in circles. So I'm going to push left on the stick. We can see that the drone is now spinning left. Push right on the left stick, now it's spinning right. If you are staring at the battery and you're staring at the green lights, you're looking at the back of the drone. So if we, right now we are staring at the green lights, and on our right stick here, if we push this stick forward, we're looking at the back of the drone, so forward is away from us. So this is a great orientation to fly the drone. Push the stick forward and it flies forward. There we go, now it's flying forward. Push the stick back and it flies backwards. Left, and it flies left. Right, and it flies right. Your first battery should probably be spent just learning these controls, doing combination moves, spinning it in circles, and then going forward. And then figuring out, spinning yourself in circles and figuring out how do I make the drone go away from me? Well, away from me right now would actually be the, to the drone's right. So if you hold the controller and the orientation of the drone, push it to the right, and now the drone goes away from us. This is the trickiest part here, is, is, is figuring out the orientation of the drone as it relates to the orientation of the remote. All right, so once you get kind of good at that, it's good to practice takeoffs and landings, the most crucial part in terms of operating a drone. And it's good to practice that in a designated spot. So draw a box in an area and try to land in that box facing a certain orientation. So land in the box facing north. I'm going to fly it over here, land on top of this weed right now. I'm going to face a different direction. I'm going to lower it down slowly. I'm going to get closer. There we go. And you have to hold the stick down, all the way down to land it. So just keep holding this left stick all the way down until the blades stop. The blades are stopped now. And I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. I'm going to go ahead and take off again. Preparing to take off. Stand back at a safe distance. Take off. All right, so if I 
take this drone down and put it on the ground and then let go of this stick before the blades stop, just like that, the blades are going to stay spinning and they will not shut off until I actually push this left stick down. They're still spinning right now. If I push up, it's going to take off. So you have to hold down this left stick. Just hold all the way down until the blades actually shut off. Just like that. Our recommendation is to practice flying manually as much as you can. Go through at least three batteries with an empty tank and then fill the tank all the way up. Don't spray anything. Just take off. Do exactly what you did, only with a full tank. To test how the drone reacts with a full tank with a heavy payload, how the flight time responds, um, and how the drone responds to your command, full versus empty. This is a very, very important concept to understand. And then, of course, you can make a mission, load it, and practice that. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.